Drawing Lewis Structures and Counting Valence Electrons. Okay, so before we get started in actually drawing Lewis structures, let's talk a little bit about valence electrons and why we need to count them up for a molecule. So according to valence bond theory, valence electrons are those that are involved in bonding. So in order to be able to draw our Lewis structures, we need to make sure that we can count up the number of valence electrons for each atom in the molecule and then add those together to get the total number of valence electrons. And then basically what we're going to learn to do is to distribute those electrons to the atoms in a step-by-step -step fashion in order to draw the Lewis structure. And so we're going to focus on making sure that all of the atoms in the molecule have octets where possible. Okay, so here's just a sample periodic table showing how to determine the number of valence electrons for different main group elements. So everything in group 1 has one valence electron. This should be a review, by the way. Every element in group 2 has two valence electrons, okay? And then in group 3, three electrons, four valence electrons, five valence electrons. So just look at the group number or look at the column, and everything in that column is going to have that number of valence electrons. And as I said, this should be a review. Okay, so how do we draw Lewis structures, okay? It's really easiest to follow a step-by-step -step approach, okay? So what we're going to do is talk about each one of these steps a little bit, and then we're going to go through an example. Further videos will have more examples. Okay, so step one. First thing we want to do is count up all of the valence electrons contributed by all of the atoms in the molecule. So for each atom, you're going to figure out how many valence electrons it has, okay? And then you're going to do that for each atom in the molecule, and then you're going to sum those together. Okay, so that's the total number of valence electrons for the molecule. And then in step two, what we're going to do is connect all of the adjacent atoms together with a bond, and that bond is going to represent two electrons. And after we do this, we're going to count up the number of valence electrons we've used so far. Now, just a few guidelines you'll either be told the central atom or some sort of connectivity for a larger molecule will be given, and then you would just be completing that Lewis structure. But we'll see examples of that also later on in the course. And then for step three, after you have connected all of your adjacent atoms with single bonds, then you're going to add remaining valence electrons as lone pairs to the outer atoms first to complete octets. Okay, and you're going to do that until you run out of electrons or run out of places on the outer atoms to put those electron pairs. Okay, now in the case that you run out of places to put electron pairs, i.e. you've completed octets on all of the outer atoms and you still have some left over, well, then you're going to put those as lone pairs on the central atom. Okay, all right, so at that point, hopefully, we're done. Okay, so we've managed to give all of the electrons and try to complete octets on all of the atoms in the molecule. Now, if you have extra after that, then you might want to look and see if something went wrong. Okay, so now step five. This is, you're going to do this sometimes and other times you won't. But if you have a case where one of the atoms doesn't have an octet, then you're going to need to move electrons around. And so you're going to do that as much as possible. And sometimes you'll need to form multiple bonds. And we'll see how to do that also, but that'll be in a later presentation. And then step six is to calculate the formal charge. And so basically what we're mostly interested is in non-zero formal charge. So if the formal charge comes out to be zero, we generally don't put it on the structure. But if it's non-zero, then we want to we want to show that on our Lewis structure. Okay, so step seven, sometimes we don't get the most preferred structure right off the bat. And if that happens, then we're going to need to modify or, again, move electrons around to try to minimize formal charge. And again, that discussion will also be in a later presentation. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw a Lewis structure for chloromethane, okay? And so for this molecule, carbon is the central atom. Okay. So let's count up all the valence electrons contributed by the atoms in the molecule. So if we look on our periodic table, we see that carbon has four valence electrons. Each of the hydrogens, there's three of them, those each have one, 
and chlorine has seven. So if we add them up, then we're going to get 14 valence electrons. Okay, so then we're going to connect these adjacent atoms with bonds. Okay, so each one of these bonds is two electrons. Okay, so we're going to connect those guys together, and now we know that we've used eight electrons. Okay, so two, four, six, eight electrons used. Okay. All right, so now we still have valence electrons left. So let's go ahead and complete the octet on this outer chlorine atom. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now we are out of electrons, but let's just check with ourselves. Hydrogen does not have an octet, right? But hydrogen doesn't need an octet. It's satisfied with two electrons, which it is sharing in the single bond right here. So you're never going to put lone pairs on a hydrogen, okay? So hydrogen is satisfied with this single bond. And so now we've distributed all the electrons to our molecule, and everybody who wants an octet has an octet, okay? So chlorine, two, four, six, eight, okay? You get to count that bond for him. Same with carbon, two, four, six, eight. Okay, so that means everybody has an octet, hydrogen is happy with two, and so we are done distributing electrons. So the last thing we need to do is just calculate the formal charge. Okay, so what we're going to do is divide each bond mentally. Okay, so see how I've put a little divider in there? So that's our mental dividing that bond. We're going to cut it, and we're going to give one electron to each atom in the bond. Okay, so when we calculate formal charge, that's what we're going to do. We're going to give, we're going to divide the bond, give an electron to hydrogen, for instance, and one electron to carbon. Okay, so we're going to do this for each bond. Okay, remember each bond is two electrons, so we have one to give to carbon, one to give to hydrogen. And then anybody who has lone pairs, they get to keep those. Okay, so chlorine gets to keep his lone pairs. All right. So that gives us a way to determine the number of electrons that the atom is assigned in the Lewis structure. So for instance, if we look at chlorine, two, four, six, he gets to keep all of his lone pairs, and then he gets one from this bond. So that's seven that he's assigned in the structure. Hydrogen is assigned just one, right? No lone pairs, and from that divided bond, he gets one. Carbon gets one from each of these divided bonds, so he's assigned four, okay? So we calculate formal charge by taking the number of valence electrons, and you get that from the periodic table. So you're going to go to the group number, how many valence electrons were contributed, and then we're going to subtract off the number of electrons assigned after we do this division over here, okay? After we divide up the electrons, we're going to divvy them up to each partner in the bond. Okay, so again, here's just a restatement. Each atom gets to keep its lone pairs, and it gets half the electrons from each bond after mentally breaking it. Okay? All right, so formal charge for carbon. Four valence electrons, we get that from the periodic table, minus four assigned. Okay, four mi minus four is zero, so the formal charge for that is for carbon is zero. Formal charge for hydrogen, so one valence electron, again, get that from the periodic table, subtract off the one electron assigned, and we end up with a formal charge of zero for hydrogen. And then finally for chlorine, we go to the periodic table, seven valence electrons, it's a halogen. We subtract off the seven that it gets in this division, so it gets three lone pairs, and one from the division, seven electrons assigned, so that one comes out to be zero also. So that means our Lewis structure is basically finished. We don't have to add formal charges because they are all zero. We do have to show that we calculated it, though. All right, so just a little note about drawing Lewis structures. This is just an introduction, but the best way to learn to draw Lewis structures is to practice. And so you're going to use the guidelines, and you're going to practice, practice, practice. So this video contains just the very basics, but I'll be giving more examples plus talking about equivalent and non-equivalent resonance forms in future videos.